Guys, what's up? Uh, I'm going to do a break here, not at the usual time. But basically, like a lot of you, I bet right now, if you somehow get a notification or watching this video soon after I put it up, I'm just waiting for double or nothing. Very excited about that. Uh, expecting surprises, and I mean, this is really a huge day for wrestling fans. If you have been around, I mean, even for fans of Cody and the Bucks, but for people, longtime fans like myself, where there hasn't been real competition for WWE since WCW went under in 2001. And to even go back to when I started watching and there were so many companies. So to have another one come up like this with real backing, a real business person, is just huge. I'll also say, I know the checklist for this set has not been popular. But what I have noticed in visiting various Targets and Walmarts, it does look like this branding uh, was a smart move. Because these have flown off the shelves. Where in the past where I would go for say a Heritage or a Road to WrestleMania. I would find them consistently. These, once again, I was at two different Targets, two different Walmarts today. These were the last two at one of the Targets. But before we get to that, I do have a bonus autograph. This has not been in any of my videos. Not in the museum video because I have a lot of stuff. That I just don't have room to display. So this one. You can see by the bottom. R.I.P. It is Ashley Massaro. Who I got at one of her first convention appearances. WWE promo. I'm trying to see the year. 2006. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I specifically did not put her name in the video open because I'm not trying to put this up to get any views or anything. Just my little tribute. And also, uh, when a star passes away, there's basically uh, predators out there who will sell merchandise that's not necessarily real just to take advantage. I know that's disgusting. So the other reason I wanted to put this up was so you guys could take a look at this if for some reason you are looking at someone with an autograph of hers for sale. Uh, obviously, I got this in person. It's signed to me. It's legit. So I'm going to leave it here for a little while so you can pause this. Let me move this so you can actually see the whole autograph and compare it. You know, if it's not certified and you want to see if it's real or uh, you've got something to compare it to here. And I, I thought it would be cool to bring out and I'm going to be doing more of this. Uh, I went into some of my, I guess you would call them scrapbooks, really binders. Pulled out some photos that I may put up here if I find room. Or I may just have them as video exclusives or both. So, without any further ado... Let's open these. And because these are so tough to come by, I mean, even if I don't get anything good, it's weird. I feel like it was a victory just to find any. I mean, this hasn't been out that long. Again, always hard to tell with the extra cards. I did find some hanger packs at a Walmart, but I mean... The odds are so bad on those. You know, I can't even imagine, even if I bought every one. So, hometown Heroes Corbin. Yeah, I just... I mean, I don't mind something like this. Really, the worst thing you're probably going to get is a medallion. Oh, we got a parallel of Razor. 88 of 99. Town Heroes, TJP, Mojo Raleigh. So it's always cool to get a parallel in there. Got Brie Bella, Bailey, Caleb Braxton, Noe Jose, Grand Matalik, Stone Cold, Bobby Roode.
Now, there's also been a lot of talk about the 24-7 title, and um, yeah, kind of a joke, but guess what? And a lot of people are like, oh, I wanted the hardcore title. Well, other than using weapons, you know, it's one of these things where I think people romanticize the past. Because the hardcore title was pretty much the exact same thing. Where, I mean, you had, I think, Terry Runnels, when she was an interviewer, somehow uh, was able to pin someone and come into it. So, you know, in that respect, it's not really different. It is a horrible looking belt. I'm not sure in today's age it will last, but Rousey Tribute... I guess it gives people something to do. I just hope they don't overdo it. Got a Bronze Ambrose. Wonder if he'll show up tonight. Mark Henry and Kalisto. Looks like we got three packs before our first hit. Seth Rollins. Lita, and we got Hometown Heroes of Liv Morgan, Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Actually, not too far from here. Not sure if I even pulled one of those before or said it before, but yeah, it's a fact. About 20 minutes from where I am right now. Alright, let's check out our first hit. You know, and again, just to find these when something's hard like that, I'm not going to feel bad. Because I just bought these because they'd be fun to open. And even the hobby boxes that I've seen open on these have been... You know, mixed it best, so only thing I wasn't going to try was a hanger box. This looks like it's a mat of Money in the Bank of Lana. Don't believe it's numbered. For some reason, it seems nicer. What I do like about this set is uh, they do have some very nice designs. But yeah, nothing special there. Let's go to our next box. But yeah, with that design, it's like, you know, I almost was wondering if it was going to be a shirt relic. And the other reason, aside from waiting for Double or Nothing, doing this video now is... You know, when it's, you're running around trying to find them and they're difficult to find like that. Like I said, I'm just, it's a victory and I'm anxious to see what's in here, even if it's nothing. Hometown Heroes of Booker T. Hometown Heroes of Mickey James. Another Rousey tribute, Hometown Hero of Nia Jax. Canellis. Yeah, I guess he's on 205 Live. Shawn Michaels and Roman Reigns. Got 
Got Brett. I don't know why it's all blurry now. And a Hideo Atami Hometown Heroes. I guess another reason I bought these is I have mentioned that I have a big trip coming up in June, not looking to spend a lot of money. And if you're saying, well, why would I buy these? Well, buying a couple blasters for 40 bucks is relatively cheap in comparison to probably other things I'd be spending my money on right now. It's something to keep me occupied. Bobby Lashley. Three packs for the second hit. Bree Bailey, nice to see her with the SmackDown title, women's title, getting a push. Still wondering if we're going to see Sasha back. I heard she was spotted in New York, I guess, doing work for the next WWE video game, so... Looks like they might be working things out. And we got our last pack before the hit. Hawkins. Nietzsche boy out of the hospital. Great news. We got a hometown heroes of Ronda Rousey. Get to this second hit. Well, looks colored. So we got that going for it. And. Huh. Funny as that. You got Rusev and Lana together. This is actually numbered to 10. So, not a bad hit there. Got a Rusev Relic number to 10, man. So, you know, even for a Matt Relic to get a gold, pretty cool. So, as always, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and keep checking back.